Shaden doing a decent job of making sure it wasn't going to be five grubs. That was pretty much the goal right there. But as you said earlier, Sajet is focusing on to the bottom lane. Your Starforge, a little bit later right here. Sajet trying to grab a second. Not fast enough to really do that. Defenses are building up in the wave. Let's get cleared away. Look at this. Triumph Sajet still looking to be aggressive. Winston has, having an idea something Ooh. is afoot with no flash on either something him or stinky. his AD carry. Something yep, stinky in that bush. I knew it. I knew something was in there. That's on Sajed. And some playing very, very defensively, but uh, intelligent to uh, suspect something there. Yeah. Also, the wave's going to be coming in, so they do know they do not have to do anything. They'll still get most of the money no matter what. And again, when some are able to dodge out on the worst possible consequences. But Bradley also picking up the <laughs> Maligma is going to be very aggressive in this upcoming game, just getting that extra damage off of that ultimate. And because it's such a large ultimate, you can pretty consistently get it on almost every member of Fear. Taking a look at the game state right now. We're 12 minutes in for our game five in Fearless. And there were no draft bans here, and that's why you see so many powerful champions that are on the board. Winner of this goes to Sao Paulo. Winner of this goes to Los Angeles. It's a lot on the line right now. And we're even in the early stages. Yeah. Philip also looking for some options to be aggressive, but ABO got to run. And there it is Can't. between worlds. He will flash right on out of it. Cost him his summoner spell, but that is the deadly presence. That's an Aurora. Yeah, forcing the flash. You cannot walk through it. You have to uh, jump over it. You have to have some kind of blink ability. And flash, very important to being able to do that. 20 seconds until the next dragon is actually going to be spawning. It's got a lot of pressure on this top side turret, uh, but it still is pretty much full HP in this game. So we will see a bunch of plates going down to both Instinct and Winsome, but also no train to the other side. The teleport comes through. Arrow goes out. Is that an arrow? Yeah. yeah, it's coming up. It's gonna land on XU. Okay, so not towards the top side. We'll catch out the jungler. Surdy and Chime pressing forward. A very deadly duo of both the Kennen and the Amumu. The uh, Curse the Sad Maelstrom can get you at any time. Shaden has some alone time with the dragon as it does spawn Infernal Drake. We'll go over to FlyQuest. Yeah, Blaze Olive doesn't yet have the training force completed, but the base stats on this champion are so strong. There's no enchanted crystal arrow. Oh, he's gonna take right there. Shaden is in no danger. Blaze Olive might be in danger. Actually, Whoa. Shaden's hurt. Oh my goodness, the ace in the hole will take him out. And the Reapers march forward. The flamethrower will burn down Sajed and fear Starforge take a team fight win. A big team fight, but it comes at the cost of the dragon. So what else are Fear going to be picking up? The Rift Herald is available. They can put some damage into the mid lane, but there's a lot of committal coming through from Fear as soon as the teleport is here. At Blaze Olives goes, well, it is time to fight. And look how much damage he does to Shaden. He yeah. just runs down so quickly, but as the damage ends up coming through, the equalizer that was thrown out by Philip, look at how good it would have been right now. Look at how much of a dominating fight they got. They got three members, but it could have been all five as the Jed also ends up falling. But Fear rotating a little bit better than FlyQuest. They get their members in position a little bit faster, and they finally find themselves at 2,000 gold lead with a team that really relies on being ahead this game. That's one way to deal with Shaden. Just put him in the dirt, man. Knock that man's jaw loose. Shaden falling in that, all thanks to ABO, who's been stacking up. And uh, now at that level 11, has the Trinity Force completed on top of it. But Carol's going to be pulled by FlyQuest. Yeah, XU hanging around, thinking about going for a steal. And he lives up to his reputation as the Chief Stealer. Shaden does secure it. Rift Herald over to FlyQuest NZXT Challengers. It means the inside track for Fear Starforge are going into the jungle. All the meanwhile, mid lane, Sajed, running kind of low. This might be a siege by fear. Yeah. This thing does a lot of damage. Has the ace in the hole. It might actually kill Sajed if it were to hit him, but too many members of FlyQuest in the area to protect him. So, Caitlyn, still very strong, has the opportunity to burst through a lot of these very squishy members. Even Chime, who will be building up the Warmogs, will have a lot of tools to keep himself alive. Uh, Nas is currently at 333 stacks, which is, you know, uh, actually a little bit higher than you tend to expect from a mid lane Nasus these days. So really good job to Ablaze Olive to keep those stacks up. But still, across the board, we're waiting for the first turret to fall. And doesn't it look like there's any immediate threat for either side. 
I, I look towards the bot lane. I do see that one tower is low over there. ABO head in that direction. Catch more of those minions and continue the stacking. Currently at 348 on this NASA, so it has been building up at a, at a rather rapid rate. A lot of deep vision coming out from Fear Starforge over the in flash. the bottom quadrant. This means they have an inside track over to Sajet, and they will wipe them off the map. Really good play, and now they're pushing here in the mid lane using the lack of flash available to Sajed to go ahead and take this mid lane turret. They're still looking to get the last bits of damage at the same time. But Blaze Olive putting threat down in the bottom side. If you oh. don't let me have this one, I'll take the other one. Gonna go ahead and get 600 gold into the Nasus. This wow. is one of the most important parts of the game for Fear. Ooh, oh. good flash. The timing on that chat uh, on that flash was so significant. Chime couldn't get the bandage toss in. And now it's a 4K lead for Fear Starforge starting to run away with this game. You saw the tower that was taken over in the bot lane. There's still a tower that's low in the mid. There's still a tower that's low in the top. A lot of early gold for Fear Starforge to take. Yeah, I mean, this is the most important part of the game. As long as a Blaze Olive is the most important character, as long as this Nasus is, is not being dealt with, you cannot deal with him one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe Bradley can leave, maybe, but Surdy can't kill him. So Jed can't kill him by himself because of how powerful Wither is. So you need to send multiple members to actually deal with him, and Fear are doing a good job. They pick up the bottom lane turret. They put a lot of pressure on both the mid and top side turrets. So this next fight coming out from Fear, very likely to determine how the rest of the game will go and who will actually win this game five and win their tickets. This is pretty tough. For FlyQuest, you kind of want that wombo combo to land, both the Cursed Sad Mummy slicing Maelstrom. Look over on the side of Fear Starforge, and they have a lot of tools that can catch you yeah. uh, when you're out of position, especially around these corridors, these ramps. The equalizer is so big there alongside that cyclone. Kind of a battle of the wombos that are going on. Top lane tower falls, that goes to Philip. Also, we got a report from production as well. Blaze Olive is typing his stacks in chat. About every 50 stacks or so, he will let everybody know. Surdy trying to chase down Philip. Uh, Philip. Feeling the shocking damage of Surdy will be able to slip away from the final oh, shuriken. And now Chime gets that engage he's been looking for. Xu looking to bail. Winsome's the first one to fall. Sajet on the side looking to create some space. Says Instinct oh, no. caught out of position. It's another kill for Shaden. Looking for the run. Ablaze Olive gets caught out by Shaden once more. Shuri has all the stacks, but there's five members of FlyQuest there. Now here Whoa, comes equalizer. Philip. Look at that equalizer. It will burn the place down. A counter punch from fear after FlyQuest gets some kills. But possibly the most important fight of the game is one that Fear X Starforge loses to FlyQuest. That is such a big portion of when they're supposed to be strong, when a Blaze Olive is the chief of the Rift. Philip comes in and salvages it so they don't also lose the dragon. But now they're going to have to take this next fight without some of the key ultimates. The Equalizer not necessarily going to be up in time. And Fear X Starforge, the gold feed remains the same, but they need the dragon too. Fear can go for the dragon right now. There's no teleport for Surdy. So that means you don't have to deal with that slice and maelstrom. No ultimate for Chime. This is going to be an easy take since Fear are first on the map. They will stop the dragon stacking of FlyQuest and ZXT challengers. They can get all of the Hextech dragons. That'll make up a lot for the fact that the first two dragons go over to FlyQuest. But there's definitely a bit of a timer on this game. The Nasus is only useful insofar as they can create threat and just win any front to back uh, fights. However, Nas is a champion that relies a lot on base stats. He does not scale quite as well with items as a lot of the other champions in this game. Now that and as many stacks as you can get. For the most part, ABO, as you had mentioned, typing every time he gets 50 stacks. He's been stacking up rather fast. 20 minutes in, uh, we'll get an update on that. But first, we got to focus on what's going on in the mid lane. As Shelly has been summoned, needs a charge onto the tower. FlyQuest okay, will you. be able to open up the map a bit. But down comes that equalizer once more. Bradley's Bradley? looking for an angle between worlds, getting caught up. Chime on the opposite end. Here comes X, oh. running through with the Cyclone. But he has the power of fear behind him. And Fear Starforge claim four. 
And this is why Naz has been banned so much this game. He just walks right on in the Rumble. The Wukong working together, doing so much damage all at the same time. You cannot deal with this ball of stats. And XU does a fantastic job starting the fight off. The Equalizer breaks up everything. And Bradley has to jump in and try to assassinate Instinct. But Aurora, many things. Not an assassin. XU buys so much time so on the other time. side of the fight. And then a Blaze Olive. Look at this. What do you do? He just runs Nothing. multiple members down. Absolutely nothing, and the Reapers are wearing purple. 7K lead, 21 minutes into this. They're looking to close this out fast. The defending champions are on death's door. 7,000 gold lead for Fear. But they still, they have to keep pushing this one forward. The Rally Cry Baron buff is still the next step as they continue to move forward. 500 stacks already on a Blaze Olive. That is very, very accelerated. He's done a fantastic job actually continuing to stack these up. But two and a half minutes is the timer left on this Baron buff. And they don't have the easiest dives in the world. You need to make sure you can find ways to accelerate this gold lead because they have stats now. But again, Ash is going to be scaling. Diego is going to be scaling. This cannon continues to scale into the game. They will be more useful than Nasus later. The threat of that Wombo combo is still alive for FlyQuest. Big concern is that gold lead. Man, it went up so damn fast. Philip focusing onto this lane in the bot. Surdy is looking for an angle, though. Slice and Maelstrom's available. There is no flash, so it's going to be slow getting to this. Here comes down the equalizer. Shaden has to maneuver around it. Philip's doing a lot of work, Insane. and Surdy's already dead. It's looking terrible for FlyQuest. They're getting absolutely slaughtered! Fear X Star Forge! 9k lead, and they're knocking at your door! Fear X Star Forge doing a fantastic job. Looking like they are under threat, but a Blaze Olive is always there. He is inevitable. And 23 minutes into the it? game, they're going to be taking down Inhibitor. They are still full strength. This should be Fear X Star oh Forge winning their way to finals That's in their the rematch with Dragon Steel. 11th hour takes FlyQuest. Learn that death comes for us all. Fear Star Forge will end the defending champions and secure a ticket to Los Angeles.